What's going on everyone? John here, The Wolf of Be Calm. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up this amazing software that's gonna allow you to use multiple Facebook profiles without any issues to advertise online. And what I wanna to say too is the reason why this is so important that you have something like this in place or at least have a couple backup profiles, whether or not you need this software, which I'll give you specific uh, reasons when and why you would. The reason why this is so important right now is because especially leading to election Facebook has been notorious for banning ad accounts, banning business managers, and restricting people's ability to advertise for absolutely no reason. I sell a lot of apparel items, and for example, and I'm getting these random errors that I'm violating policy by selling weapons online when I'm actually selling a pair of shoes, right? So there's automated systems are completely out of whack. I understand why they're being extra precautious and they're relying heavily on the automated systems to detect things that go against policy, to detect suspicious activity. And this is mainly because all the heat and flack they got four years ago leading into the elections, right? So what we need to do to really set ourselves up for at least a short term and long term future uh, where we don't have these kinds of headaches or if, if this happens again, how we have a workaround, right? Because it's very frustrating when you're advertising and scaling a product and then you have everything shut down overnight for absolutely no reason, right? Whether or not you are actually breaking policy, okay? Like for example, you could see right here, I'm selling mainly one product on the store and every time we try to scale it, you know, it started to take off like an airplane and then just it's been bobbing up and down. And the reason why is because I'm constantly having ad accounts disabled or the business pages are disabled or the profile that I'm advertising with is restricted, right? So I've had to constantly pivot, which, you know, if I didn't have this system in place, you would have just seen the sales die one day. Okay, so this is what we call multi-login, okay? And I'm gonna try to explain this in the most layman's terms, uh, non-geek speak as much as possible. And that's because I this is not my ex area of expertise, I just know how to use it, so I wanna show this to you. But basically what this is gonna allow you to do is to have multiple profiles running on your computer at once. Now, could you just log in on multiple browsers, maybe you download two or three extra browsers, you have one profile open on Chrome, one profile open on Safari. That may work, but one of the things that triggers Facebook is if you have multiple people logging in from one IP address, right? That's like a huge red flag. And at least one of your profiles will probably go to a review process, which means you're locked out until further notice. You gotta submit your ID, and sometimes you don't even get it back even if it's your profile, which is nuts, but it is what it is. So this is gonna allow us to basically set up a unique IP address to show for each one of these profiles. And I'm gonna walk you through that process now. So when we go to what's a service called My Private Proxy, is this gonna allow us to purchase proxies? Proxies are gonna be the IP addresses that are gonna show that it's a different location. You know, or not necessarily a different location, but a different device. All right, so you'll hit Get Started. And then we're gonna go down to five. I recommend you start with five because there's always a chance that one of the profiles dies or goes to review and you can't use it. You select Facebook, continue. And what you wanna do here, we'll go to checkout, but super important. So you wanna sh basically tell them, you obviously fill all this out, you'll make a, that'll allow you to make a login as well. PayPal is probably the easiest to check out with. And then I always say, please make the Proxy IPs show as Washington, D.C. You basically want to put your city in here. The reason why is because you want to not show a gap right, as a different location. So Facebook's gonna pick up your IP address. And the problem you'll create is if you just take whatever location they give you, they're gonna randomly assign you maybe Colorado, somewhere in Colorado or somewhere in Texas or somewhere in New York. There's gonna be like maybe a millisecond or whatever the geeks, the geeks would be experts on this as to how long there's that gap, right? So when you're using this software, the the multi-login with these proxies, it's gonna initially for a millisecond display your IP address, your actual IP address. And then it's gonna flip over to then displaying and masking that IP address with this IP address of this service, right? So why I'm saying this is because you don't want to have two different IP addresses show very quickly, right? Because that's obviously gonna flag the system. Facebook's very smart. So you want a similar location to where you are now so it's less sketchy, all right, because this will create less issues. Once you complete this, okay, you'll be then be able to log in, 
So when you're logged in, okay, I'm gonna have obviously this blurred out because it has like passwords and all the ways you can access my proxies, which you're not gonna do because I'm blurring it out, but you will see under my proxies, all of your proxies listed here. Now this is blurred, so you obviously can't see it, but you're gonna have your proxy IP here, your username, your password, the ports, and then you'll actually see the location. Like you can't read this so much, but this says Washington DC. So these are the ones I'm using. I actually am getting rid of these ones that have Texas here. Okay, so now you'll then need to go to the multi-login and then we're gonna go down to, might just be download, yep. And you'll wanna download it and then after that, pricing. Start with the solo, that's plenty for what we need. And then you'll make your, uh, I'll just make one up. I think we need to, I should count after installation. So it might, have you actually make the profile here. Let me see. It's always a little bit tricky. It'll force you to create eventually before you can actually make the purchase to create the uh, subscription, which is gonna then also allow you to create your login, okay? So I might have some issues with this. Well, regardless, once you actually create the subscription with it, just like with the, the My Private Proxies, that email you set it up with is going to have a create an account for you, right? So you'll be able to log in, like if I log into mine now, hope that's a password, there we go. So I have my plans here, I have one older plan and one active plan, right? So uh, you'll see this here, all right? And then you'll be able to go to the software, it'll ask you to log in here, and this will all be blank. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do then is to create your first proxy. You're gonna hit create new. I always add the date, today's 23rd, and the name of the profile. So if I'm adding John Casto here, I would go then go to edit proxy settings. I would go back to my private proxy, obviously still blurred here so you can't see any of this, but I would grab this information one at a time. So I'd copy this, go HTTP proxy, boom. This is blurred as well. So create profile. Now I don't always do this and you'll be able to see more specifics on this. Like I recommend you go through all of these videos because what you want to do is you, you don't want Facebook just to see your, your cookie history, right? That's stored in this browser session. Where is it? 1023 John Cast. So if I open this up, you'll see what I mean. So this is basically showing uh, Facebook. It's like a unique set of uh, history and the browsing history, right? Because Facebook's looking at all of your browsing history, unless you're going incognito, and even then it's probably still accessing it. But nonetheless, uh, so you can see like this is a different IP address, right? It's Washington DC, but it's showing a different IP address, whereas if I said, what is my IP? See, see how it's different, right? So it's showing Facebook a unique IP address, which is super important. Now we also wanna show unique browsing history, which is why I was mentioning the cookies, right? The, the browsing history of this browser itself. So something you could do, uh, it's a best practice and you could read more about it in these videos here, automatic warm up with browser profiles, right? So if I go here and I run cookie robot, you wanna put in a bunch of websites that make sense. Okay, and then you know you could do it for 30 seconds where it's crawling the website, and then uh, you would run it, right? So it's gonna open up for a sec. So why would you do this? Well, real simple. So Facebook doesn't just see that you're literally getting on the computer, opening up the browser, going straight to Facebook ads, advertising, and then getting off, okay? And you're gonna see this is automatically going to change every 30 seconds. We're probably not gonna sit here and wait. Um, you could just, minimize it as well but that's basically it and then that that browser right so this browser session is then ready to use you can use this and log into your facebook and do whatever you want okay and as you acquire more profiles you can do one unique ip address with my private proxy right so like this package that we in this example we purchased purchased five of these, so you will make five of these, right? So five of these actual browser profiles in multi-login. Each one will have its unique IP address, 
and that's going to be coming from my private proxy. And then once again, you want to label it. Personally, I, this is where I do it. The date and then uh, the name of the person. Okay, it's just so you know who you're looking at. And then you log in, you run the cookie robot, and then when you log in, then you're basically free to use it. Had it been, you know, a different computer sitting next to you. And this is one of the best ways to, to future-proof your e-commerce business, your, your Facebook ads business, because Facebook is unpredictable, especially right now with the elections. It's, you could literally get banned for doing nothing. So this is just a good idea to set up if you are running at scale, right? If you have like one profile right now and you're having issues, just get another one and log in on a different computer or just in a different browser on the same computer. But if you're getting to the point where you need multiple profiles or maybe you're running some things you probably shouldn't be selling. I mean, if you're going to continue to do it, this is one of the best ways to set yourself up so you don't have issues when one profile goes down or a business manager gets disabled for nothing or for something. Uh, you can always just roll over to the next uh, profile, the next business manager, next ad account, right? So hope this helps. I've done other videos on creating profiles. I'm not going to go into that in this video. There's a ton of different ways to make profiles, but yeah, so there are cookie robot just finished and John Casto is ready to use. So just to show you real quick, it's syncing still. Once it finishes syncing, it's going to let us open up again and I can pop onto Facebook and I'm good to go. But that's basically it. This is a great way to, to diversify your risk with your business and set yourself up to scale more, to have less headaches, and when you do run into issues, you can pivot and keep your business going, all right? So have a great day, guys. Happy Q4, and put this to use if this is at the point where your business needs it, all right? See you in the next video.